What is up guys? Welcome to another video tutorial by KH Media Productions. We're gonna get going here. This is my follow-up to color correction and really what I'm gonna show you in this video is your different color correction tools. Alright, so right here we have a clip of a kid um, playing at one of those toy claw vending machines and this is what we're gonna be looking at today for color correction. I feel like it's a little blue but I'll show you how we can look at the scopes and determine what we need to do. So if you're not already in the color tab up here, go to a uh, color tab and that'll bring you bring this up to Lumetri color, which is what we went over in the first color correction video. This is a follow up to the first color correction video that I did. And <clears throat> now you're going to go up to window and go down to Lumetri scopes, pull that up and it should pull this up and if you don't have one of these you can go down to the wrench tool and you can go to if you don't have these up you can click on which ones you need and the Parade RGB which is this one and then the vector scope which is this and the waveform luma which we went over before the difference between the darkness and the lightness okay so now what we're gonna do and also I should mention what the difference between color correction and color grading is color correction is when you want to change your image to look like what it looked like what it should have been shot like in your camera and color grading is when you want a specific look so if I wanted this to look really desaturated you know if I wanted it to look like almost like a flashback what you would see in a TV show like whenever they do flashbacks they kind of desaturate it usually to make it seem like it's from the past um, so what we're gonna do here though is color grade this so looking at this what we're seeing here on the vector scope is there's a lot of red leaning it's t leaning towards the red here and there's some yellow because we have this yellow and there's also some a good amount of blue but but that's just to show you what colors you are really have in your image so if I go over here I wanna boost the contrast I feel like it's a little flat right now okay and then uh, you can see the blacks are coming down. I want to boost the saturation just a tad. And we can mess around with this. You really just have to mess around to figure out what you want to do. And this right here, Parade RGB, up here is your highlights. So the tone, the colors of your highlights. And then the colors of your midtones and the colors in your shadows. So you can look at this and say okay there's not a lot of color in my highlights so like these parts right here you can see the highlights and then there's more color in my midtones so like just everything here and then your shadows what tone is in your shadows so let's let me show you so there'd definitely be more green in your shadows there's a lot more green in your midtones if you look at this and greens in your highlights as you can see the green staying up there whereas if I boosted it like this then there'd be more reds and blues in my highlights and whatnot so you kinda get the idea there so in this video I really just made some minor corrections um, added a little bit of <clears throat> contrast and saturation and brought up my orange a little bit because I thought it was a little too blue when we started so right around there alright guys this has been KH Media thanks for watching my tutorial and stay tuned for more